Hey, I meant to do this before, but um, if I haven't mentioned it before, our four-year-old is autistic. Well, he's got PDD NOS, which is just a fancy term for he's on the spectrum. We just don't exactly know where. Whatever. He's got autism. <laughs> Um, and here, I live in British, uh, British Columbia, Canada, and here we have, um, what's called autism funding, which means we get 22000 a year, um, and 20% of that, so I think it's 4400 of the 22000 is used for supplies and equipment. And we had an order of $3,800. That was games and cards and wooden blocks and, and you know, things that will help him uh, because he's going to start kindergarten this year. So things that will help him during school and stuff that we can do for ho at home with him. And, and let me show you what we got. <laughs> Our kitchen right now is a complete and total disaster. But anyway, we got eight boxes of various um, games, and like there's a bingo game, and then there's Guess Who. Ha, oh, that's funny. That took me back to my childhood. There's another game. There's a frog toss and grip thing. Uh, there's like magnetic animals, and and then we come over to this bin over here, and ow, <laughs> kind of trip over things and die. These are like, you know, the flashcards of numbers and letters and words and, you know, just, uh, just educational stuff for, uh, for our son. Uh, there's a three-step sequences, you know, uh, put the cards in order, in order of sequence. As you can see there's a, a boy there playing baseball. That's what he does first, of course, goes up to plate. Hits the ball, and then number three is he's running around the bases. So that's that's kind of interesting for him to have. Then we come over here. I'm trying to walk through the array of stuff without dying. We have the art um, bin where he gets a smock. He gets paint. He gets uh, the spill-proof paint containers. Um, uh, coloring pad. Oh my goodness, he's got uh, play uh, things for painting to make like inner designs and stuff. And then, oh, oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, well, that almost killed me. This is a, a frog, you know, um, kickball that I almost died on camera on. So, you know, that was entertaining. So in this box, it's all not organized yet. It's just kind of array, a um, eclectic array of stuff everywhere. <laughs> so he's got more educational uh, toys and games and whatnot in here. And then we come up on the table, and up here we have more games, um, like rhyming sounds. And, you know, sounds like, and, you know, stuff like that. And then we have, whew, my lord. Then we have, uh, oh, just, just, <laughs> oh my good lord. This is a bin of, uh, food, wooden food. So there's, you know, your sandwich kit, sandwich making kit. And then he's got, um, a pizza type, or is that cake? Cake, oh, birthday cake, I see. Birthday cake wooden set that he can put together and, and whatnot. And then there's cupcakes and fruit and vegetables and accounting thing. And oh my lord, there's just so much stuff. Like I said, this was eight of these boxes. Well, not, not all that size. I mean, there was mostly, probably this size, mostly this size of box here full of stuff, just stuff. Oh, here's a weighted, um, weighted frog. He's kind of cute. So he can, you know, when he gets out of control and his emotions are running high, he can just grab this weighted frog and put it on his lap. 
Um, because for, for our sun, pressure is a grounding tool, I guess. It, it calms him down. He's also got a weighted blanket that he got. That's, I think, 10 pounds. So he can put that over himself and, you know, kind of relax from his emotional outburst. And in this box, last but not least, we have a box of blocks. <laughs> That's all that was in this box. It was just the, the blocks that he can put together and, you know, play with. And yada, yada. Oh yeah, and bubble wrap galore, man. There is so much bubble wrap here now, it is insane. And not just these tiny little, there was, oh God, I was having like a freaking heyday. This was a bubble wrap. This is one, one air bubble. I wonder if there's, <laughs> there's just bubble wrap and <laughs> I think I popped it all. <laughs> this here, oh my God, an air, this was like an air package. Just can't really call this one bubble wrap. This was an air package. This was completely filled with air. And yeah, popping that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to show. Oh yeah, there's the doctor's kit down there. Oh my goodness, there's stuff just everywhere. Our kitchen is completely and totally destroyed. <laughs> ah. Oh, one thing that's not here that I actually think went down to the basement is, oh, I found my bubble wrap. This is bubble wrap. <laughs> this is bubble wrap. <laughs> this is like the weirdest. I've never seen bubble wrap like that. Anyway, squirrel. Anyway, the one thing that's not here is, um, you know those train sets that you see in the doctor's office that are on the tables? Well, we got one of those. Uh, we actually put it downstairs because it's for Christmas. It's going to be a Christmas present. So... Because we kind of thought that, whoa, so much stuff at one time. Hello, overwhelming. So we thought, you know, get a little head start in Christmas and give him a train set. Because he loves trains. Oh, my God. He absolutely loves, loves, love, love trains. So, yeah. That's, uh, so anybody out there who um, has an autistic, autistic child and wants to help them get them tools and flashcards and puzzles and games and wooden food and all that stuff. Look in your area to see if there is um, autism funding available because let me tell you, it sure helps. We've got one more year of, um, of the 22,000 and then the 22,000 dropped dramatically to six. So, so we're getting all that we can right now before the funding is like completely almost gone. So this is why we ordered so much at one time and then next year the the funding will roll over on his sixth birthday which is the 21st of this month. So the 21st is this month it'll roll over for another 22,000 for the next year and then we will make another big order before the uh, before it goes right down to 6,000. So yes, anybody out there who has an autistic child, definitely look into the autism funding. Um, oh, the other part of that, uh, the 4400 is supposed to be for supplies and equipment. The other part of that can, play, can pay for respite, can pay for training. Now, I don't know how, what it's like in every other part of the world, because I'm only in BC, Canada. But in BC, it pays for respite, it pays for training. Um, you yourself can get trained, or you can have someone... Get pay, or pay someone to get trained for your autistic child to um, get training in his or her needs. So I mean, it's it's definitely it's it's fantastic. Twenty two thousand, you can definitely utilize that. Easy, easy, easy. Like we've already used up our uh, twenty percent for supplies equipment this year. It's gone. Two orders, two orders we made, and oh no, sorry, three, three orders we made. Um, through the autism funding for supplies and equipment and that portion's gone so it can go really really fast <clears throat> so I definitely suggest that you use it utilize it and uh, help your kids out 
because it is a fantastic resource for to help your uh, autistic children. So that's it. I'm going to give one last shot of the chaos that is my kitchen. Now that we've gone 10 minutes now <laughs> of complete babbling and, you know, show and tell. But that's all right. It's all good. It is all good. All right. So I'll sign off now. <laughs> ah, so it just doesn't turn into incoherent babble. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day.